So guys, we are back with another iPad Pro accessories video. The M2 iPad Pro was nothing to write home about. At least it wasn't a reason to upgrade from your M1 iPad Pro. So all the more reason to find some good accessories to make our current iPad feel brand new again. Some of these are a bit crazy and over the top, but they're all really awesome. So let's ramble. Hold up, things go well when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what is up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. All right, so starting off with the essentials for any iPad, and that is of course charging. Now I'm gonna ease you into it with these chargers because these are not crazy and they're not over the top like the next one, but these chargers by Ugreen are what I call essentials. And I carry at least one of them with me wherever I go, depending on my needs. Ugreen has been making really solid products these last years. I remember using their cable sometimes years ago, but these days there's Ugreen stuff all over my office. It's functional, it's durable, it looks great, and it's not overly expensive. If I know I'm just gonna be charging my iPad and maybe my iPhone, my go-to is this Nexode 45 watts charger. It delivers all the juice I need and this one intelligently adjusts the power, depending on your device. So I don't have to worry about overheating or overcharging anything. If I need a bit more oomph or an additional port, I like to take the GAN X 65 watts, which is surprisingly small because it uses GAN technology. And GAN stands for gallium nitride and it represents the efficient conductors that don't overheat as easily. And because of that, the casing of these chargers can be kept really nice and small. And if I go away for longer, let's say I'm on a business trip and I need to charge my MacBook Pro, my iPad Pro, my iPhone, and whatever else I have with me, this bad boy will be traveling with me. This 100 watt beast has three USB-C ports and a USB-A port, but it is still small enough to toss in my tech pouch. I love that the prongs on these things are integrated so I don't need a cable to power it. It provides fast charging for all my devices, including my MacBook, and I can safely charge everything overnight because this charger has dynamic temperature sensors that make sure power is adjusted when and where needed to prevent overheating. Super solid stuff, can 100% recommend. Now, this next accessory, is absolutely crazy and absolutely over the top, and yet I use it every time we take the car anywhere, and so does the rest of my family. This Bluetti EB70 behemoth of a battery will sit in the back of the car, and it will be charging Patty's iPhone because she always forgets to charge it. My seven-year-old daughter is pretty much tethered to this battery. Well, she isn't, but her iPad is, because if her iPad dies mid-road trip and she loses her Roblox game, well, let's just say it's not fun times. Kidding aside though, this thing is perfect to take with us to keep our devices charged and it's got a few really cool features on board. Out of the box it comes with these three cables to charge the unit itself, a 200 watt power brick, a cable that plugs into your car's cigarette lighter, and one cable that fits into a solar panel if you're on a camping trip and you still want to be able to charge this thing back up. It's got a lithium ion phosphate battery, which not only makes it much safer to use and to store than a lithium ion battery, it also has way better longevity in terms of cycles, up to five times more. It's got two USB-A ports, two USB-C power delivery ports, which will deliver 100 watts each simultaneously. It even has two DC outputs if you're one of those rare people still using that, and a 12 volt charger for appliances, or if you wanna extend your ports. The real kicker though, is that it has two fully grown AC outputs, so you can hook up pretty much anything, a fridge, a TV, you name it. Obviously, these are EU plugs because I'm in Europe, but they come in US plugs as well. A very cool feature as well is the wireless charging pad on top. So I can charge my iPhone by placing it on top of the Blue Eddy. Long press to turn it on, and the LCD is nice and bright and shows you how much juice is flowing in or out. I would have liked to see the battery indicator using smaller increments than 20% jumps, you know, for accuracy, but that's pretty much nitpicking. If you use the 200 watt power brick, you can charge this thing back up in four and a half hours. And last but not least, we have a very handy built-in LED flashlight, including a distress signal. So if you do get attacked by a bear, well, you'll still get mangled, but at least people will know about it. Right, on to the next accessory, and that is this Banks Infinity Pro iPad stand. I've been using a lot of Banks products lately. They make great stuff that doesn't break the bank. This Infinity Pro iPad stand is no exception. And it's one of my favorite stands to use with the iPad Pro. It comes pretty much assembled in the box, so you don't need to put anything together. And what you get is a super sleek and cleverly designed iPad stand that fits right in with my Mac setup. 
solid aluminum build. It rotates 360 degrees. So if you wanna use your iPad, you can use it in any orientation you want. And my favorite feature is the bass. The rattling sound you hear when you turn the stand is just so satisfying. I could do this all day. But what really makes it such a great stand is the angles it offers. And because of the way the hinges are used, it folds down all the way into a small package that fits into any backpack. Perfect if you need to do some work on the go, but you need something substantial to hold your iPad. The most straightforward way to use it, of course, is at eye level with a nice keyboard and a trackpad, but you can also fold it all the way down so you can draw on it, or you can fold it down even further with a slight angle, which is perfect for handwriting. And that brings me to our next accessory because handwriting on the iPad is a lot easier when using a Paperlike screen protector. And thank you Paperlike for kindly sponsoring this video. Now I've been using Paperlike just as long as I've been using iPads. In fact, my very first video on this channel is a video on how to apply a Paperlike please don't go and watch it. So for them to be sponsoring these videos on a pretty regular basis now feels like a full circle thing and I'm super happy about these collabs. The reason why I'm excited to include this one in my best accessories this time is the fact that they recently came out with a brand new version that works even better. You still get all the drag and the resistance you're used to from the previous versions, which makes handwriting and drawing a lot easier. It also prevents smudges and fingerprints, and of course it prevents scratches. Now, one of the complaints some people had about the previous versions of Paperlike is that it sometimes makes the screen look a bit dull. Paperlike listened to these complaints and this new and improved version fixes that. It preserves the beautiful display of the iPad Pro, but now it's so clear that it almost appears like there's no screen protector at all. Every order comes with two Paperlike screen protectors and they offer worldwide shipping. So if you wanna try out one for yourself, there's a link in the description. Right, so the Banks iPad stand I'm using obviously makes the most sense in conjunction with a keyboard and a mouse. And personally, I prefer using a Magic Trackpad over a mouse with the iPad Pro because unlike a mouse, which will give you cursor input, the trackpad actually mimics the gestures you're already used to when using the iPad handheld. So you can swipe and zoom and pinch and tap just like you would on the actual iPad. And let's be honest, this black Apple Magic trackpad looks really awesome. Guys, really quick, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. In terms of keyboards, I like to switch it up a bit. I'm a bit of a collector, if you will, and the keyboard I'm about to show you is not one that I use on a daily basis, but Melgeek sent it to me for review, and it's so beautifully weird that I just had to show you guys. If you've been to the channel before, you've probably seen me use their Mojo keyboard, which is one of my favorite keyboards in terms of looks. This one looks quite a bit different, but it's a lot of fun. And that includes the unboxing experience because even the packaging is just quirky and fun. Now, as you can see, the design is heavily Lego inspired. Melgeek did ask me to clarify that these are not actual Lego blocks, as in the brand Lego, but you get the idea. It comes with all the things you might expect from a mechanical keyboard, RGB, hot swappable keys and switches, Bluetooth functionality, and a massive battery. It comes with a bunch of building blocks included, as you can see, but if you're a fanatic, you can of course go nuts and create your own masterpiece with your own blocks and your own accessories. All keys have transparent covers, so there's really no limit to the designs you can make. It comes with a little print of a famous Van Gogh painting, but of course you can create your own just as easily. It's not the toughest keyboard ever made, it's actually quite flexible, but this isn't a keyboard you're gonna toss in your bag and take with you. This is made to be someone's desktop art piece. So if you're feeling creative, there's a link in the description. Now staying within the theme of Dutch masters, how about about some Mondrian. Don't ask me why, but Orico decided to come out with a Mondrian themed SSD drive. Being Dutch myself, I probably have to like this design or they might take my passport, but I'm sure it's not everyone's cup of tea. However, what will be everyone's cup of tea is the performance to price ratio, because this is one of the best performing SSDs out there. Until now, this Lacy rugged SSD has been my absolute favorite. It's blazing fast, but it's also super expensive. This drive actually beats the Lacy in terms of speed quite easily, reaching speeds of up to 3000 megabytes per second read and 2800 megabytes per second write speed. Now we know the Thunderbolt port on the iPad is throttled and you won't make full use of that speed, but the beauty of SSD drives, of course, is that you can use them between your devices and that includes something like your MacBook Pro. It doesn't require a driver, you just plug it in and it works. 
Regardless of how I might feel about this design, this has now become my favorite SSD. I use it every single day and it has a steady home in my trusty Peak Design tech pouch that has all the little tech bits and bobs that I need. So I just grab it whenever I leave the office. Speaking of leaving the office, you're gonna wanna protect your iPad when you do that. And I have two seriously beautiful items to do just that. They're by a brand called Harbor London. And if you're a regular viewer, you must be thinking they are heavily sponsoring the channel because I use so much of their stuff, but no, they're not sponsoring a single video of mine. I just really love their beautiful leather designs. This iPad sleeve is a combination of leather and felt and magnets, and it's designed specifically for the iPad Pro with or without the Magic Keyboard attached. So you can slide it in like this, but it also fits perfectly with the keyboard on. You can tell that they're handcrafted. They have these little imperfections that I really love. The inside is made entirely out of this thick felt protecting your iPad, you know, against bumps and scratches. And the outside is made of this beautiful cognac leather, making it look really swanky. This is great if you wanna just use your iPad and head out. If you're going on an all day work trip, you might wanna take a bag with you instead. Now, sometimes I just like to toss my stuff into a backpack and head out. But when I have a business meeting for my daytime business, everything's a bit more formal. In those cases, I absolutely love this briefcase by Harbor London again. Cognac brown leather, cause that's my favorite. It has all the compartments you need. It's nice and small, but it easily fits my 14 inch MacBook Pro, my iPad Pro, and anything else I might need that day. There's a clip for your keys that attaches on the inside magnetically, which is really useful. But my favorite part is this strap on the back because it lets me secure this back onto my wheelie suitcase, which is absolutely perfect as a carry on for short business trips. Guys, let me know in the comments, which was your favorite accessory. Links to everything, of course, in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.